I don't really know a lot about this game. Um, I've seen it kind of floating around in the ether. Um, and I've been interested to try it out because it looked interesting. Uh, I think it's about like a witch or something that has to eat people. I don't know. We're going to find out together. Ah, perfect uh, death atmosphere right from the start. Let me turn that up just a tad. Just a tad. Uh, <clears throat> let me get my narrator voice ready. <clears throat> Deep within the forest, there is a grove where the tree branches grasp and claw at your neck, and the air is a thick miasma choking the very life out of you. In the center of the grove lies the witch's house. Arrogant, mighty, and wretched. Having forsaken all good company, save her monstrous creations, the witch toils away at her projects, day in and day out without care. However, once in a blue moon, a traveler vanishes into the mist, never to be seen again. Rumors dance about these poor souls. Some say they lost their way in the forest. Others say they've been changed, but more say they were slain. But all agree, it's the fault of the witch and that cursed house of hers. No, oh, we're smashing. Oh shit. Oh shit, we're really smashing. What the fuck's going on here? Calm down. Calm down. That old dad couldn't have followed you down here. Crap, crap. I should find somewhere to hide. Quick! Oh wait, we're we're jumper. Oh, that's like okay. All right, that's oh that's how you run. Okay, um, we need to hide. We need. Can we? This isn't time for examining things. Okay, well I mean shit, bro, you kind of just tossed me into this shit. What the hell? Was that a body? I'm not hiding in there. Well, I mean, you got any any better ideas, Einstein? Yes, I think I can hide here. Uh. Uh. Nah, we're we're good. Oh. Hey, it's gone. It's kind of bad though. If you look past, if you look past the crazy stairs, it's kind of pretty though. Found you. <laughs> I think we're dead. <laughs> I think we just fucking died. What is this? Good. Hardly any mess in the body is in good condition. Oh, yeah, we're dead. Apologies for cutting your life short. But your death won't be in vain. Hello, Patricia. Are you there? A walkie-talkie. And a high-quality one at that. Now, why would you have one of those? Most tourists only bring a cell phone. Please respond! Unless... You weren't just the usual lost tourist, were you? Maybe they're prepared for the lack of phone signal and already planned on splitting up. Just who were you? Someone there? What? If I knew you weren't just some tourist, I would have waited before killing you. But alas, all that's left is to find your friends. Should I answer? Uh... Hello! Who are you? Where's Patricia? She is unavailable. Now, who are you? Silence. They disconnected. Those intruders in the house. They would be a problem if left unchecked. There shouldn't be too many places where they can hide. Hmm. She has one of my old journals. She must have stole it when she broke in. Journal added to your inventory. Okay, cool. Um, let's, let's look at the journal. Scientific process for creating uh Ah, that, that looks that looks interesting. Uh take a sample of uh Mandragora. Oh for sh <laughs> Here we go with the fucking stupid names already! Officinarum. I know I didn't say that right. Tissue which you intend to use as an embryonic base model for the planned homunculus take human tissue sample and add it to a three mill milliliter vial of one five okay this is just how to make shit whoa it keeps going 
Uh, when this is done, the solution created should be a dark burgundy color and have congealed to the consistency of a paste. The next steps must be followed exactly for the best chance to add a proper outcome. They are as follows. Are those eyeballs on those things? They look like eyeballs. Fill a fine tip syringe with said solution in a sterile environment. Take a fresh gross egg, gross egg, whatever, and inject the solution into it. Take the egg and bind in an incubator within a four gallon circular container filled with the blood of a man for six months. That's nice. During this time, change one third of the blood every six weeks. Do not remove the subject from the blood and keep the environment dark and sterile. Well, this isn't exactly the best recipe I've ever seen. Oh, not allowed to show that on Twitch. Oh boy. That's good. Skip right past that. Uh, listen, Twitch, we can talk about it. It's for educational purposes, okay? Calm down now. Oh, okay. Not going to read that ever again. Well then. You like to keep your workplace clean. Well, to be fair, I, I think with stuff like that, they don't really care. Although, hopefully, the game doesn't have too much more of that type of shit. Uh, compound analyzer. You don't use it as much as you used to. Interesting. <clears throat> what time is it? I lost track of time easily, unfortunately. I see. Doesn't look delicious. Even you're not used to this. Okay, so apparently we recently became a vampire or something. Whatever the hell we are. A witch. A demon. Got Mario's overalls in the goddamn corner. Body's hanging upside down, allowing the blood to drip down from the neck. That's nice. That's nice and kosher. That's nice and cleanly. Uh, what's this? Projecting someone's vitals. You don't use it as much as you used to. Were we like a nurse or something? Whoa, okay. Mom. Mom, are you there? That kid's still awake. Such unfortunate timing. Mint, what is it? Ah, hello, daughter. Oh, she's adorable. Mom, look at my drawing. Listen, if it's anything like the drawing that I just saw, I'm not trying to get myself fucking banned. Uh, so, um... It's late! Shouldn't you be asleep? I tried to sleep. Really? It's hard when the night's so quiet. Maybe if my mom read me a bedtime story and tucked me into bed? I'd be a good boy and snooze faster. Considering the situation, it would be worse to leave him wandering by himself. Very well. Let's go to your room. I've got my hand over that BRB. Listen, bro. I, listen, that 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 pictures got me uh got me a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh, this is the kitchen. Hey, remember when I ate some jam and got super sick? I did. It wasn't funny. It was just a stomach ache. You're a worry ward. Anyway, I read something about increased exposure with allergies. That you build up tolerance the more you get exposed to it. Maybe you should give me a little amount of jam every day. That would only work if you're allergic to jam. Your stomach ache was not caused by allergy. I wish it was just that. Interesting. So our kid's like a demon vampire witch too? <laughs> I can't seem to let go of caffeine, unfortunately. What does coffee taste like? Bitter, you won't like it. I won't, I won't know till I try. Well, unfortunately, you can't. Shucks. Tough luck, kid. Oh, are you going to replace this one with the new one? There's enough space for two. Well, I think the old one sucks and you should throw it away. That's mean. Come on, kid. Huh? Absolutely not. I'm keeping it. Once he's older, he's not hes not going to give me his drawings anymore. I have to save them while I can. But can't you see how much I improved? I can't, actually. It's, it's, a, it's a bit rude. Both dickheads now? Couple of pots. I can see that. Very nice. Oh, what's in here? This place is pretty goddamn big. Sheesh. I thought it was like a small cottage or something. This place is, is looking pretty massive. These books are kind of kind of scaring me, bro. It's calm the fuck down. Uh, 14th of July. 
Mommy only lets me watch cartoons these days, but I don't mind. They're more fun anyway. I guess I asked too many questions the last time she got a grown-up movie on. Oopsies. Penguins are so cute. I asked Mommy to bring me one, but she said there were, that there's no penguins around here. She did bring me a bird, though. But the next day, I can't find it anymore. I guess it went home to its mom. It didn't go home to its mom, kitty. You fucking killed that thing. Uh, okay. Alright, moving on. It's on the TV. Can we watch TV? A bit too late for that, don't you think? Sound like we have neighbors that can complain. It's still bedtime for you. You'll have to sleep early if you want to grow bigger. You don't want to be small forever, do you? Of course not. I want to be bigger than you someday. I guess that will happen eventually. What are these? My building blocks! Be careful not to step on them, Mom! Your building blocks are quite cringe, child. This is the best scene in the house. Because it's by the fireplace. No, because you always sit here. Oh, how cute. I'm trying not so hard not to grin like an idiot. How adorable. Sometimes I talk to the plants in the house. They're like they're my siblings. Didn't I buy you a doll? Talk to that instead. I can talk to both. Besides, from what I read, it's good to talk to plants. Anything special with the pain thing? No. No, it doesn't look there's anything else in here we can do. Um, didn't we have to bring him to bed? I already forgot. Sometimes I feel like hiding your hat so you can't go into town. Well, if it ever goes missing, I know who to blame. Hey, I never actually went through with it. Sometimes I feel like hiding your shoes so you can't go into town. Where did you get this hiding things from? The dog and TV. The dog and TV does it. Well, you're not a dog, are you? Maybe I am. Maybe I am a dog. Don't judge me, mom. Mom, that's not the way to my room. All right, here. Not the way to your room. Okay, let's. Is your room outside? Let's go outside then. They always talk about how pretty butterflies are, but I think they're pretty ugly. It's the wings that are pretty. The wings are part of the butterfly. Yeah, but I think most people just never look at them up close. The rubiscus is pretty ugly. It's all coily and stuff. I don't know if I should call him honest or vain. Yeah, butterflies are freaking gross, dude. Especially since they love blood so much. It's, it's a bit weird. I don't like that. I shouldn't spend too much time here. Who knows where those people could be. I'm ready. What is it, Mom? Just making sure you're safe. You really worry too much. Don't worry, I'm already ten. If you're already my age, that's still different from a baby. Wait. Did I misunderstand that? You're ten? Wait, what? Alright, let's get out of here then. You're leaving? Where's my bedtime story? Um, mommy's busy. Some other day, all right? Be a good boy and stay in bed. I told you I can't sleep. Tomorrow, I promise. That's what you said last time too. Hold still. Why do I always have to wear so many layers? Because you'll get cold. But I feel fine, mom. For now, yes, but you'll freeze to death in the winter. Then I'll just stay indoors by the fire. You can't stay inside forever. But when I go outside, you always fuss that someone will see me. In the summer with Curious Taurus, yes, only the dead enter the forest in winter. But I don't want to go outside when it's sunny. Maybe I'm being too overprotective. He's missed out on enough. I can't give him a normal childhood. This is the least that I can do. If you promise to be careful, you can go out during the day, too. Can I also get new drawing supplies? And new books, too? Yes, yes. Anything else you want? Candy! That book you gave me had children eating candy during the fall. I think it was called Halloween? Or something? Out of the question. Candy is unhealthy for you. But I could just... 
But could I just try one, please? No, what have I always told you? Didn't you tell me to be more selfish before? I did, but I was talking about when your life is at stake. When that happens, always put yourself first. Don't hesitate to get rid of others if anyone stands in your way. That's nice, Mom. Just toss everyone off of a bridge, eh? Same thing doesn't apply to candies. Okay, Mom. Good. Now I have some work to do. When I'm done, I'll go to town and get you some books. That's probably not a good sound. What the hell was that? Hey, now. So this is interesting. It seems like instead of being the hunter for the one... Bleh, a hunt, being hunted for once, we are the hunter. Uh, when you walk to the side of it, you also go in. Locked from the inside. The spare key should be in storage. So are we just gonna go on like a hunting killing spree? Is that is that the goal here? It's winter. You haven't been doing as much laundry. It takes forever for clothes to dry in this weather. Uh, the balcony. Whenever I go out on a balcony, balcony like that reminds me of Yume Nikki. Ooh, I like this music. It's nice and chill. That's not the door. That is though. All right, let's look for some prey. Looks like we need to get a key from storage. Um, and there was that. Oh, I guess the woman locked herself in that room that we couldn't get into. So let's go in here. Uh, nice skeleton, buddy. A model skeleton. Looks eerily like a real one. Because probably is. Uh, anything of interest here? Oh, what is that? 21st of October. I've been trying to tell mommy that the house is haunted, but she doesn't listen to me. Sometimes I hear weird noises at night. And I check the TV, but it's off. Where else can it come from? Sometimes the noise did come from mommy's workplace though. But she said I can't I can't ever go in there. Does she have a TV there too? Did she forget to turn it off? And she told me that I'm wasting electricity. Hm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think those are those are hauntings, kid. Uh, I think they're turning into ghosts, actually. This one's about biology. Min is commonly used as a culinary herb. They grow well in human air. They grow well in human areas and can easily spread when left unchecked. It's often considered as an invasive species. You should be careful when mixing it with another plant. Why did you call him Mint? You didn't. Mint is a nickname. Oh, what's his real name then? These books are about biology. Oh, same shit. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and save real quick just because we haven't saved yet, like at all. Uh, okay, so we were downstairs before, but they get the bed. Um, let's go out to storage, which I'm guessing is this way. Only place I can think of. Got the greenery here. Looking nice and fancy. I like the little pumpkins. Bottles of chemicals. Maybe you should store them better. Yeah, probably with with a kid around, probably. There's the key. Oh, this was storage. Okay. Alright. Let's go kill ourselves a person. I wonder if you all have the, like, the option to spare them or if you, you literally just, just have to kill them. You really thought you could hide from me. Is it your hobby to trespass in an innocent old lady's home? Innocent? Oh, please do tell me. What did I do? Y you're just trying to get information out of me. You caught me. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm just curious as to why you're in my home. S stay back! Why? Why do you think- what do you think I've done? Why are you so scared? I'm not telling you anything! You're just as useless as the other one. And he's dead. Oh yeah, he's dead. Now let's see what they have. A detective badge. And a newspaper clipping. What is this? 20 years ago, remembering the Biogenics Laboratory fire. Today marks the 20th anniversary of the unfortunate incident in Biogenics University, which left dozens of people dead and hundreds injured. That's great. 
The fire started in the university's West Wing Laboratory, famous for its research equipment. While the court has ruled the fire to be a case of negligence, uh, alumni and current students are still dissatisfied with the verdict, claiming foul play and undercover government projects being involved. There was evidence which suggested that illegal experiments were taking place in the facility, including traces of illegally obtained organs being found in the vicinity. The dean of the university refused to comment, insisting that they were unaware of the project's existence, and that the rumor of a homunculi being developed in the labs are both ridiculous and impossible. Taking a wild guess that the kid is the homunculi, eh? Artificial humans are nothing but a myth. Yeah, sure, but I'm standing right here. Homunculus Latin for little man is a concept popularized in the 16th century. It was believed that it was possible to artificially create humans in a bottle under certain circumstances. That's fucking weird. Homunculus were said to possess supernatural abilities, such as transmutation or walking on water, as they are born with all the knowledge in the world. They can similarly give these abilities to their creator. Magnolia Farger, I probably said that wrong, the only surviving member of the project's team, is still missing, and the incident remains shrouded in mystery even today. How does she have this on her? Today's uninvited guests are a group of detectives, and they are specifically tracking me, too. It seems that I've underestimated the severity of the situation. This is bad. Newspaper added to your belongings. Take a quick sip. Can you stop pestering me about it already? I think I deserve to know as your wife. You've been oddly tight-lipped about your new workplace. You used to tell me everything. Is it really that weird that I'm working under a non-disclosure agreement? I would think that it's common for this field. It's weird when I hear all kinds of shady rumors about your company. I know that the rumors about them buying organs illegally aren't unfounded. They were so desperate to bribe the press. Just why are you researching in there? If it bothers you that much, you're free to leave. You're throwing away all of those years just like that? Damn. Throwing out your goddamn wife over that shit? What the hell? Magnolia, listen, I... No, you listen. If you don't want to respect my privacy, I'm always ready to file for divorce. Jesus Christ. Kind of a kind of a great girl we got here. I made it clear that my work would always come first. How did it all come to this? Shit. If the authorities are here, they're going to find everything. Magnolia, help! If you survive this and blab to them, you're just going to make things more messy. Don't take it too personally. Help me. I don't want to die! Oh, you're dead, bud. You're... you're gone. I just want to see things through to the end. I have to clean this up. I can't let Min see this by accident. I'll let her join her friend, I suppose. All right. Mom! Mom! I thought I told that kid to stay in bed. Uh... Oh, looks like we're... Got away! Yeah, skitty, yeah. All right, we gotta... Hey, let's, let's save that real quick, because I'm pretty sure that him catching us is not gonna end well. Um... Let's... This is a dead end. Great! So we gotta pass by him. Uh... We're gonna wait for our moment. Oh, yeah! Let's get Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so there's just no avoiding it. Oh, is that the ghost? Did you need help to clean it up? No, I think I'm fine. Shouldn't you be in bed? I got bored, but, well... Be sure to clean it up well, alright? He knows? Or did I raise him so poorly that he thinks this is normal? That's a conversation for later. Yeah, we got a mom of the year over here. Uh, where do we bring them? Oh, we got a little witches out over there. That's cute. Uh, over here. Oh my god, this place is a goddamn maze, bro. Um, 
here? Bro, where was another body before? Um. Uh, I legitimately don't remember. Wait, maybe in here actually? No, that's where he is. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Um. Uh, just one in here. <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, this is outside. Um. Fuck, dude. Where was the room with the other body? Uh, oh, it's gotta be down here. I keep thinking that's the way outside for some reason. Now, let's go back to looking around. I like the little sound of her walking. Just... Alright, where haven't we gone yet? We haven't gone outside. Um, we've looked around everywhere in here, I think. Right? Uh, are those Amazon boxes? <laughs> After I check every nook and cranny, I'm pretty sure we checked every nook and cranny though. Um, unless there's just some place that I'm. Whoa! Hey, buddy! Hold up! What are you doing in my house? Magnolia, you've changed! Do you know me? It's me! Orion! You really are self centered, aren't you? Oh, right. We were in the same class. My apologies. You've always been forgettable. I should have noticed it before. Notice what? How shrewd you are. Shrewd? This coming from the person breaking into my house? You were no place to lecture me about ethics. It was something that needed to be done. You don't follow regulations. You don't care if anyone gets hurt. People have been disappearing here. Oh, they always disappear wherever you go. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Stop playing dumb. We're not gonna let you get away with this! I can say that I'm impressed by your career choice. I've always taken care of your partner, so nobody's going to save you. Already, rather. That shit's music's going crazy, bro. I'll bury you all together, at least. As a favor. You killed even Dove? Jesus. Really are one cold hearted bitch. Dove. Dove's here too. Yes, and she'll stop you. <laughs> I'd love to see her try, really. Her being here doesn't really change anything. Must you really do this? What is wrong with you? You're missing the bigger picture, as always. Don't worry, I'll make this quick. Another one bites the dust. Does he have anything useful on him? Wallet, badge, all files. Shit, nothing useful. I should try to find Dove. Or maybe she already left. She's smarter than this group of clowns. Uh, should we be taking the body? Well, I guess man isn't gonna come down here. Hey, sorry I ran late today. I had to get dinner before coming here. So long as you're here. I take you've not heard much from Orion? 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 I don't know, bro. I don't speak English, man. He's barely showed up to our group meetings before. I doubt he'd show his face now. Well, it might also have to do with, with you yelling at him. Perhaps he had it coming. Do you want to risk failing this class? I mean, no. I want to pass this class as, as much as you do. Good. Then let's get to work. I've already begun a draft of the poster. Did you find any relevant papers? I did. Actually, uh, you could say I found too much research. We can make our poster on almost anything about the Human Genome Project. Then we'll just have to pick the best ones. Magnolia. Yes, Dove. I have to ask. You're harsh on everyone else. Why do you tolerate me? I tolerate you? You're dutiful with a good sense of judgment. Two rare traits in academia. Now let me ask you. You spend an awful lot of time with someone you describe as harsh. Why is that? I think you're... wise. 
with all those ideas about how to link ancient alchemy and science you told me, Magnolia. I think they're all so wonderful. And I think it would be wonderful to see them come to fruition one day. I'm touched you think that. Most dismiss it as nonsense. But it doesn't matter. I'm doing this for myself. For now, we still have to get through college. Right, our project. I should stop reminiscing about my college days. Those days are gone. Indeed, and I have a feeling your life is about to go too, because uh, she is probably hunting our asses down. And the music has stopped, and I really don't like that. Um, she might be downstairs. I'm gonna take a guess and say she's down here. Am I right? I'm not. Okay, she's probably outside then. So at first I thought that we were the experiment, but I suppose Mint is the experiment then. Oh, this is just back in here. Oh, let's check with the kid first and make sure he's good. I don't know if there's anything that we can actually like miss in here. Also, why is there a second kid's room in there? He's gone. Where could he be? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's not good. That's really not good. Yep, Dove probably got to him. That's probably the case. Uh, she's not in here. Um, I'll save you, Mint! Not the mint chocolate! The books. Someone was here. Yep, they're in the back room. Or not. Eh? Uh... Encyclopedias. I'm getting bored of them. Uh, okay, so there was someone here, but... Oh, wait, hold up. Was it here? What an obvious place to hide. Foolish girl. Oh, shit, this is... Science is not a doctor. It's lost its original purpose. How sad. Um... Are they just not down here? What the hell is that? When I bought this board, I thought I'll use it more often. I don't even need this memo anymore. The formula's burned to my brain. Great! Uh, where's the kid? Uh, are they just not in here? Did I not check this room enough? Maybe in there? How much of this person left? Oh, that's good. Uh, don't think they're here. Are they hiding under the sink? Let's keep your workplace clean. Unless I'm just completely and utterly blind, I don't see another exit. Another room around there. Uh, thought the pictures and decorations would make your job seem less scary to your son. You have no idea if it actually works. Uh, so someone was down there, so what? What about that? Did I just completely miss something incredibly obvious? I'm gonna feel so stupid when they're down there and it's just the one place that I didn't check. Um, nope. I'm not hiding under his blanket thing. Um, nope. Uh, here. Nope. Side down. How to extract blood from a pig. Which I use by butchers. Um, a couple of jars. Dude, am I am I fucking crazy? Do I just have to do I just have to interact with? <sighs> All right. I guess that was obvious enough. I thought I interacted with them, but research logs. Most of the logs records. It records a series of failure after failure. You can no longer be too upset about it. Okay. Various bottles of chemicals. Encyclopedias. Um, 
Maybe that maybe that wasn't it. They didn't want us to check that and then go in here. Uh, maybe it's something in our inventory. No, uh, it's just a journal and the keys. And we're not opening that journal again. What does it say? Research logs, blah, blah. No longer be too upset about it. Okay, what about that? Maybe now we can go outside? Dude, where haven't I checked, man? I don't think we checked this room, did we? Can hide the body under here. Hardly ideal, but I don't have much of a choice. Now back to looking around. Wait, did we... Did we have to do that? Was that it? Dark and cold night, you can barely see anything. You tried to break the, break the window down, huh? Too bad. I strengthened it down exactly for this reason. A drain used for cleaning up. No, you don't take your baths here. Wait. There was another room there. There we go. They couldn't have gone outside, right? Oh, shit. It's a hold up, motherfucker! Well, you got me. Congratulations. Was it really worth it? Chasing me for all these years. Cut the shit, Magnolia. I wouldn't be here if you didn't do what you did. Which one? You'll have to be more specific than that. Well, this is awkward. What should I say to her? I didn't say it before this. That's not good. Um. Uh. Is it bad that I'm glad that you're here? Let's make up and have a little smooch. I'm touched that you still think of me, even after all this time. How did we turn out like this, Magnolia? Maybe in another life, things could have ended differently. <laughs> I doubt it. At your core, you have always been too straight-laced for me. You might be right. Um, I, you, you'll always be a dull woman who doesn't have what it takes. Uh, I wish the opposite attract was actually true. Um, I feel like if we tell her that she doesn't have what it takes, she's gonna blow our fucking brains out. So let's just go with opposite attract, yeah? To be fair, I think that saying only goes for surface level differences. Like cat people or dog people. Introverts and extroverts. Not a murderer and a detective who's trying to make things right. Playing hero now. Mom! Mint! Where are the kid's real parents, Magnolia? Are they dead too? Are they among the people that went missing because of you? How rude. I'm his real parent. I made him. Like, you, you procreated? Must you really word it like that? No, I made him. Literally. It's easier to show you than tell. Take his hat off. Oh god, here we go. Oh, he's got a little, little plan. Oh, it's adorable. What the hell is that? A sprout? You get it now? If you're here to stop my research, I regret to inform you. You're several years too late for that. He's a monculus. They say it's impossible, but I did it. I made him. All by myself. Centuries of research turned up unfruitful, and I did it in less than a decade. Then all of those research notes are about him. All of those people you killed. Well, he's still in his growing stage, and this particular one feeds on blood. Oh, I see. I couldn't let him go hungry, could I? Was it really a success? I mean, he's standing there. Huh? Can't you see that he's practically indistinguishable from humans? That's exactly it. I looked through your research rec records. Your tests were all a failure. All those stories about magical things that a homunculus can do. They weren't true, were they? You can improve that they are actually capable of doing such things. Uh... Motherhood is a reward in itself. Yeah, let's go the wholesome route. It's true that he doesn't have a magical trove of knowledge or knowledge or magical powers, but... 
He calls me mom and draws things for me. Feels pretty magical, really. That's sweet. I've never pegged you as a motherly type. Fair enough. I didn't expect to be one either. How long have you waited to tell someone this? A while. There must be another way to feed him. You didn't have to do all this. You're too optimistic as always. You won't know until you try. If you figure out what part of the blood he actually needs, it would be easy enough to find a substitute. I don't want to take the risk. If anything happened to him. I don't have the proper medical equipment to care for him. Then give him to me. I'll take him to the city. You can't be serious. Who knows what they would do to him? He's not human. Not everyone is, a, is an insane scientist like you are, Magnolia. The kid deserves to have a proper childhood. Not just be kept around as your little science project. How dare you say that! I raised him the best I could! Uh-huh. Mom, here! Oh, shit. They got the, the gravy hands. See? He's just like me. Too bad your savior complex blinds you from seeing that. Game over, Dove. Thanks for playing. It's been fun. Sheesh. Alright, well, looks like she got her brains blown out in the end. Mom, look at the view! The train's going so fast! Don't get too close to the window, Mint. I'm sorry that we had to leave home so quickly. That place isn't safe anymore. At this rate, he'll grow up to be just like me. I'm not sure if I like that. Is this really the best for him? It's okay. As long as I'm with you, that's what's most important. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> I guess you're right. I love you too, Mint. You know, when we're more settled down, maybe we should start incorporating more things into your diet. Really? I finally get to eat candies? NDA. Thank you for playing. Huh. So that was an interesting short little game about cannibalism. <laughs> nah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. Um, at some point, maybe I'll do the other endings. Uh, but I think now, for now, we're going to switch games.